So just to remember that, you know, this, this uh, especially in this masjid, this is the, the second uh, time that we have hold this program. We always like to hold every uh, two months or every, uh, what do you call, uh, three months to encourage the rest of the other students for awards and so on so that, you know, we make them love the deen. Same thing in school, you know, you know, it's not like in our times that where we had, you know, environment, everybody's Muslim. But here, what we have is encouragement, to encourage them, show them something. Uh, and that's, inshallah, what we're going to be uh, doing. Assalamu alaikum. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض الملك القدوس العزيز الحكيم هو الذي بعث في الأمين رسولا منهم يتل عليهم آيته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين وآخرين منهم لما يلحقوا بهم وهو العزيز الحكيم ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم مثل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم, ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا بئس مثل القوم الذين كذبوا بآيات الله والله لا يهتي القوم الظالمين Abu Hafsa radiallahu anhu قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إنما الأعمال بالنيا وإنما لكل امرئ ما نوى فمن كانت هجرته إلى الله ورسوله فهجرته إلى الله ورسوله ومن كانت هجرته للدنيا يصيبها أو امرأة ينكحها فهجرته إلى ما هاجر إليه رواه البخاري ومسلم السلام عليكم قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من قال لا إله إلا الله دخل الجنة. The prophet said, peace be upon him, whoever that there is no God but Allah will be in paradise. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قيل كم من طلع القرآن وعلم. The best people are those who learn the Quran and teach it for others. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيهم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات انتباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فتور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب ينقلب إليك البصر خاص خاصا هو حسير ولقد زينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وجعلناها رجوما للشياطين واعتدنا لهم عذاب السعير وللذين كفروا بربهم عذاب جهنم وبئس المصير. يعلمكم الله انه يجب علينا تعلم اربع مسائل. المسألة الأولى العلم وهو معرفة الله ومعرفة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ومعرفة الدين الإسلامي بالأدلة. المسألة الثانية العمل به. المسألة المسألة الثالثة الدعوة إليه. المسألة الرابعة الصبر على الأذى فيه قال ودليل قوله تعالى 
والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر. May Allah be pleased with him who said, I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say, Actions are by intentions, and every man shall have that which he intended. But he whose migration goes for Allah and his messenger, his migration was for Allah and his messenger, and he whose migration was to achieve some worldly benefit, or to take some worldly name. And I mean of all meaning that the house of Sulaim al Khattab, the Allah and the Qad, the Lord of Sulaim صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, In a man of all the niyat, and in a man of all the manua, the man can have hijra to Allah and Sulaim. فحجرته إلى الله ورسوله ومن كانت حجرته للدنيا يسيبها ومن مات ينكفها فحجرته إلى ما هاجر إليه. On the authority of the Ma'abi, on the authority of the commander of the faithful, Umar al Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, say, Actions are both by intentions, and every man shall have but that which he intended. Thus he whose migration was for Allah and his messenger, his migration was for Allah and his messenger, and he whose migration was was to seek some worldly benefit or to go to marry some woman, then his migration was for that which he migrated. His biography. Imam Shafi was born in Gaza. Imam Shafi was a Muslim jurist who lived from 158 AH. Interestingly enough, interestingly enough, that was the exact same year that the Imam Abu Hanifa passed away. Imam Shafi was born 150 age to 204 age after Hajj. So introduction. In the Amal al-Biniyat, this was the first hadith written in Sahih al-Bukhari. It tells a lot about what kind of person Imam Bukhari was. He was a man who took care of his image well and always made sure to make intention before anything. Oh, his birth and his offspring, his full name is Ahmed. His full name is Ahmed ibn Muhammad ibn Hanbal ibn Hilal ibn ibn Sa'id ibn Idris ibn Abdullah ibn Hayyan. Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal was born in Baghdad on the month of Rabi'l Awwal on 164 Hijr. He was he was an orphan at a very young age because his father died. Still a young man at the age of 30, his father was an activist who gave his name to Islam. Today we will be talking about Imam Abu Hanifa. Today a young man was walking at, by a farm and an apple fell from the tree. He wanted to eat the he wanted to eat the apple because he thought it would cure him from his hunger. He was a man who only ate that which was permitted. He felt bad for eating the apple and he wanted to search for the man who owned the apple tree to ask for forgiveness from eating the apple he wasn't allowed to eat. He said. Uncle, I ate an apple from your tree, thinking it would cure my hunger, but my consciousness won't let me go away with the way I ate at all. Please forgive me. The man said, I will not forgive you, and I will be the one on the Yom al Akhirah who is in the eyesight of Allah, standing and protesting against you. The man was crying and had tears in his eye. He asked, please, I'll forgive you. I'll work for you. The man said no, finally, and walked away, went going to his home. The man followed him and waited outside of his house. The old man came out for Salat al Asr, shocked, finding the man standing there, tears rolling down his eyes. The man said, please, please forgive me. I'll work for you my entire life and not get paid. He said, I'll do anything for you. Just please forgive me from the apple. The man said, I'm willing to forgive you on one condition. The young boy said very happily, what condition? Any condition you want. The man said, you will marry my daughter. But know that she is blind, she is deaf, and she is mute, and she cannot walk a long distance. The man thought of it, because this is a very hard thing, talking back to himself, bickering. How am I supposed to take care of a guy, a girl like this? How am I supposed to live my entire life with a girl like this? After long and hard thought, he agreed, because for him, the forgiveness of the apple was more valuable than the marriage he was getting himself into. The man said, okay, come to my house next Thursday to be married off and I'll pay for everything, all the expenses. He went into the house. He was dragging his feet when he walked in. The man opened the door and said, go to your wife. He went into the room and saw a woman whose nur was as bright as the shining moon. And he said, assalamu alaikum, forgetting she cannot speak back to him and she cannot hear him. Then he thought the angels would reply back to him. She said, wa alaikum salam ya zawji. He was shocked and went to the dad of the girl. He said, I thought you said she cannot talk. What happened? The man said, 
She is blind from the haram. She is mute from the haram. She is deaf from the haram. And she cannot walk to places of haram or do that with haram with her legs. Later on, they had a baby. The baby was Abu Hanifa.